Okay, so this is a uh, on your computer. Yep. All right. Tell you said you were worried that you did a lot of the same stuff as your brother, but yeah, you guys were working independently. So. So I also found a lot of the same sort of flippage that he found. <coughs> okay. Well, show me. Where? Yeah, let me see. <coughs> Oh, this is this is the different thing I found. So when you go out a lot here and then start to sort of orbit the origin, it's, it's sort of popping different ones out and then throwing them back in. Hmm. But some not all the time. Sometimes it's bouncing off the others. Okay. What coefficient is that that you're moving around there? This is the A5 coefficient. That's the A5. So this is a six degree polynomial and you're moving x, the coefficient of x to the fifth. Degree. Yeah. <coughs> Might as well I'll put the A5 in the origin. Okay. And then I'll move the A2. Oh, this is weird. I see there's like three triangles that are, or is two separate triangles that are sort of moving around independently. Huh, wow. That's weird. Yeah, that is I didn't weird. notice that. You didn't notice that before? Yeah. Sorry, I'm looking at your computer on the whiteboard so it's slipping. All right. And then with the A0 flippage, I also noticed that part. Okay. I, I tried to put it into large numbers, but it froze on mine, so I had to... Yeah, well, the trouble on with with those large numbers is you started to try to find the roots of polynomials that begin with x to the hundredth, yeah. which is and it's not it's, super easy. It's not meant to go past seven here. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's fine. It's it's interesting to see what the different roots do when you orbit. The origin is the A5 root or A4 root. All right, what's what's happening with A4? It's sort of there's like two that are orbiting and then bouncing others out. Huh. Uh, this is now it's A0. Here's A3. Okay. What happens with A3? This is three roots orbiting. Around like a triangle orbiting around a central triangle in the middle. All right. Hmm. Huh. And it even looks like the triangles exchange vertices yeah. occasionally. It almost looks like it's like gravity, like they're attracted to each other. Right there, it just went. They sort of flipped with each other. Yeah, I I have to say I think the same thing when I see this. It reminds me a lot of the planets interacting. They look like there is some sort of attraction, and then sometimes there's some repulsion. So if we go back down to the case with two, and you bring them together, so they come together, and all of a sudden they sort of fly apart from each other. Yeah. And if you bring them really close together. Can't really get them together. You can't get them to be on top of each other, but just moving that point. Yeah. Um, all right, well, cool. What do you guys think of this? It's a pretty neat, neat project. Yeah, so, I, I, I mean, one of the things, and this is just the simplest thing, is that polynomials have amazing properties. And when you just are only looking at graphs of them and just finding the roots, it might seem like, okay, well, this is pretty dull. But the, behind the scenes, uh, how, the, how the roots relate to the coefficients of the polynomial is actually fascinating. Mm -hmm and really beautiful math. Uh, and also has a really fun history too because there was a, a young mathematician in France named Galois who did a lot of work on this and proved that um, starting with fifth degree polynomials you can't have general solutions. Hmm. You know about the quadratic formula. Yeah. Um, that solves second degree polynomials. And there's a similar formula for third and fourth degree polynomials but fifth degree and higher. No formula. Can't solve them in general. Alright, high five guys. Great work.